There will be a major change. There will be a major change. We have now there are two different two different positions. The first one is for locally advanced non-metastatic, and the second one is for newly diagnosed metastatic. First position, locally advanced. There is a clear trend that early chemo combined with ADT plus local treatment might be a way to go. But so far, the evidence is lacking. What we have is a benefit for progression-free survival, not PSA, but clinical progression-free survival. But the follow-up is probably too short to say that it's finally the standard of care. The longest follow-up we have in the, in the French, it's a French trial, the genetic 12 trial, with eight years median follow-up. And the, there's a clear benefit for relapse-free survival. There's absolutely no survival overall survival benefit, but probably eight years is far too short. For the M1, totally different. We have three trials, one small one from France, negative but for sure underpowered, and two very large ones, one from UK and one from the US, the charted and the stampede, both are positive. So it's very simple. Standard of care for newly diagnosed M1 disease is ADT plus upfront chemo. It will be included as level at grade A recommendation, level 1A, because we also have a meta-analysis, also published by the end of this year. It must be used, provided the patient is able to receive the drug. The real question is, for newly diagnosed patients, do we need to treat the prostate still in place, if not yet treated? And do we, in patients with a very limited number of meds, do we need to use a targeted treatment to these meds? The, end, the answer for these two situations is clearly we don't know. Clearly we need prospective trials. If there's no benefit, at least we must not harm. And so far we don't know if it's the case. So it might be the future, provided we have very good data. And so far we don't have. Exactly the same thing for oligometastatic. We have less data to suggest that it might be of interest but it might be of interest. Again, it is experimental. Regarding the local treatment for, for newly diagnosed metastatic patients, it's, it's, it's useful in other tumor models. It's useful for kidney. It was shown for kidney with, with immunotherapy. We don't know yet if it's true with TKI or mTOR inhibitors. We have a large randomized trial ongoing in, in Europe. I'm not aware of any solid tumor location where the local treatment is useless. So either it doesn't work or it adds something, but we need to, pro to prove it.